Not too long ago, I sent this picture in my community tab, seemingly suggesting something. And I asked, oh no, where is Hamman again? Is it Dust 2, Dust 2, Dust 2, or Elton John's basement? Now, I have a feeling that most people would go for the fourth option and then go for the third option. But the joke's on you because- So yeah, I play Counter-Strike now. You may be wondering, Ham, you play TF2, where the hell did that come from? Well, I'm currently on a two-year esports course in my college, and I've been loving it so far. And with all the games that are on the general learning rotation, like Valorant, Overwatch 2, and League of Legends, the one that interests me the most is Counter-Strike. Yeah. I'd already played it a tiny bit in the past and knew these snippets of info about it. Oh, the Deagle was actually a sniper rifle! Oh, Dust 2 is fire and Mirage is pretty good too. Guns like to aim slightly above the crosshair. Fear nip nip! Oh, a lot of angry rushing guys play here. Oh, the marketplace is mahoosive! So I thought, considering I'm 18 now, and pretty good at taking new games I play at face value without getting mad or salty at them, how good actually is Counter-Strike? Yeah, as it turns out, it's really fucking good. Before we dive into the meat and potatoes of this video though, you may have noticed that this isn't Counter-Strike 2 I'm playing, it's CSGO. Well, there's actually a reason. I'm gonna be talking specifically about CS2 in this video, but unfortunately my computer is just about not powerful enough to record footage of CS2 on OBS. Not even metal can save clips with a consistent frame rate. If anyone here knows how to record better quality video for these games, tell me in the comments below because it would be nice to actually record footage for it. That being said, one thing I'd like to mention specifically about CSGO. The game itself was retired about a week ago, but I respect the hell out of Valve for letting people still run community servers of it for people who still want to, you know, actually play CSGO. Just one problem though. There's barely any community servers huh? on CSGO that are just vanilla. And there's zero, count it, zero deathmatch servers. Which is a massive turn off for me because that's my favorite mode. Hell, even in the actual regular servers, they often do shit like this. So yeah, when I'm talking about deathmatch, I'll be using footage with bots. One of my favorite things about Counter-Strike are the weapons. There's not too many of them, but every one of them fills out a specific niche and are always better than some weapons at other things. Take the two de facto meta weapons of the game, for example. The M4A1 and the AK. They both have really good damage and little spread, but their clips aren't that large, so you can't play recklessly with them. And then on the other end of the scale is the PP Bison, where it has a large clip, barely slows you down when you hold it, and pretty much doesn't lose any accuracy when you move and shoot. But to make up for it, its damage is extremely lacking. Even from just these two weapons, you both have to play them completely differently to get the most out of them, and that's just scratching the surface. There's also the AWP, which is legendary for one single motto. You hit someone, they die. You beef the shot, you die. Simple as that. And then, if you don't feel like going through all the risk and reward of the AWP, there's also the SCAR, which is a little bit more tricky to aim, and doesn't do as much damage as the AWP, but it's also a lot safer. Now, technically you could use the SSG for this, but no, fuck off. This doesn't even get into my three favorite weapons, though. First off is the XM, which is mainly notable because of how fast its fire rate is for a shotgun. And it also has the benefit of being able to reload and then fire during its reload, which makes it so that it's way easier to not be caught off guard with it. However, this does lose a lot of stealth as reloading with this is very loud. And then there's the Negev where even though it makes you really, really slow, the ammo capacity is huge, the damage is really nice, the fire rate is amazing, and the accuracy is really bad. Until you realize that after a few seconds in, they all aim at the exact same place a little bit above the crosshair. And once you realize that, 
There's no going back. Even though Counter-Strike has quite a couple of modes, it's famous for having one mode entirely unique to itself. Bomb Diffusal. For those who don't know how the mode plays, which is probably like two of you, but better safe than sorry, the terrorist team have to place a bomb at one of usually two bomb sites. And if they place the bomb, then even if they all die after placing it and it still goes off, the terrorists still win. No! No! Run away! But it usually takes a whole 40 seconds to detonate, and placing it pretty much warns the counter-terrorists as to where you are but they have to hurry due to the maps usually being pretty big. With the defensive gameplay of Counter-Strike, it makes this mode feel like the FPS equivalent of checks, because someone could be here, but of course they could be going down the other path, so if they are, maybe you should take a longer path to get behind them while potentially missing a firefight so you can guarantee a kill. Or maybe someone on the enemy team has the same idea, so you should go down the fast path after all. There's a lot to consider, especially considering that your team needs 8 wins to secure a round rather than just one, so strategies can be mixed up over and over and over again to keep the others on their toes. In terms of the other modes, most of them were taken out for Counter-Strike 2, but out of the remove modes, there's War Games, which is basically the same as Bomb Defusal, but everyone's alive and the bomb has already been planted, so the counter-terrorists have to act fast to defuse it, there's Danger Zone, which can only be played with other players, so it's completely inaccessible. Hey, Future Ham here. I uh, did some research, and it turns out that this mode was a <coughs> was a <coughs> was a <coughs> good fucking riddance. And there's also the Hostage Mode, which I actually don't know how the Hostage Mode works. So, someone in the comments, if you can give a really detailed and cool description of it, then I'll maybe pin it. So yeah, most of these modes don't stand out when compared to Bomb Defusal, but there's one mode which I think is equal to it, and that's Deathmatch. Deathmatch is a pretty odd case because it's pretty much an essential for any FPS game which has multiplayer. But the way Counter-Strike does it is so unique that it honestly feels like its own mode. Everyone has their own individual points. They have invincibility frames until they either Damn. move or shoot. And the only goal is to get more points than everyone else. And also, every now and then, there's bonus weapon periods where for a good 30 seconds, if you get a kill with a specific weapon, the amount of points you get with it are increased. Now, at its base level, you'd probably always want to use these, but they also run the risk of you losing kills that you would have gotten with your primary weapon, adding more depth to it. Even something as simple as the fucking chicken NPCs which roam around the map have depth. Because they only give you one point compared to getting a kills 11. So if you focus on hitting them when you're outside of fights, that could potentially get you one or two extra points worth. But if you lose one encounter because you are focusing on the chickens, that makes it a loss. I'd love to go into more depth about this mode, but I think I'll do that in a future video. So look out for that. So overall, there are two absolutely god-tier modes for Counter-Strike, and even though the other three aren't anywhere near as good, they're still quite a good time if you find a way to play them. EXCEPT FOR YOU- So yeah, I actually really like Counter-Strike. I was going in expecting the game to be way worse, like considering how fast you die and how I hate games where you die before you can react, I was expecting for there to be something about this game that I hate. But no, the only thing I really hate about Counter-Strike is something that you can't even access anymore, and it's not even really the game's fault. So I would say that that was a resounding success. So how do I send off the video? Well, while I was trying to find footage for this video, I wanted to find at least one authentic Counter-Strike lobby. You know the ones. The ones where it's dust too, when everyone's screaming in the voice chat in Russian, just to see what it was like. And after quite a bit of searching, I can safely say that I found one. Enjoy the best bits of that session.
Боже, помоги! I think I know where to go. Когда ты кинул молик, он вообще не топал. Oh, yeah, Ой, this is one of those lobbies. Сейчас буду. Speaking Russian. No shit, you're speaking Russian. Speaking Russian, собака. No shit, you're speaking Russian. Speaking Russian, No shit, you're speaking Russian. No shit, Russian, собака. What kind of server am I? Why, bro? Why? Speaking Russian, bro. Hello, man. I love you. No Russian. Yes, yes. Have man, I love you. Oh. Thanks. Speaking Russian, American man. Oh, I'm British. Your country, bro. Your country. You would have figured out my for English by now if you just pressed. Have man, have man, have man. Ronaldo me. <laughs> bro, bro, you you watch football? Uh, no, I'm a Formula One guy Idiot. myself. Idiot! Idiot! Boy, <laughs> двое, короче. Guys, guys, I think this guy might like football. Oh, stay, stay, just. Damn it! Britain. Как мой дик брит. Классик. Боже, он здесь. Смотри, 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 что делает. Давай, ковбой. Смотри, заблудею, он мяч катает. О, look, there's an ore. Я вижу. Wait, shit, that's not an ore. Я вообще не прям что. I heard that. Oh shit, that's a f Are you ready for the magic moment that defined a generation? <gasps> oh god! 14 HP, убей его, Хазбик. Хазбик, Хазбулла. А дурозик. Боже. Yeah, you bet your ass I did that! Хазбик, красавчик. Хазбик, говна кусок. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. <clears throat> I'm gonna end the video here. Does anyone here have any last words they want to say? Shut up, shut up. Speak Russian here. Speak Russian, Peter. Yep, I think that sums it up pretty well. Speak Russian.